Aloha and welcome to Oils with Me Without B. <laughs> so I've got another great guest speaker here to give her testimonial. And I want to introduce you to Diane. She's my mom, very, very creative, um, just full of knowledge. My, my number one to go to with just about everything. And I wanted to bring her aboard because not only does she have a lot of knowledge, but she's got a lot of personal experiences, a lot of testimonials that I love to use. She's always been willing to try out different methods and um, try essential oils. So I'd like to turn the floor over to Diane, mom, and I want to ask you a few questions. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so mom's on another island. She's on the island of Maui and I'm on Oahu. So in order to do this interview, resuming. So here we go. The first question is, drum roll. Um, let's see, what was the oil that brought you to doTERRA? Well, the beginning of this story, I was a nervous wreck. And so Sarah introduced me to balance and copaiba, I saw a definite difference. Yeah, and how did you choose to use the balance and copaiba? First of all, what what was the support that you're looking for, and how did you use the oils? Well, I had a lot of anxiety and a lot of issues that I was dealing with emotionally, and so Sarah courageously asked me to try these oils and I said yes and so um, I diffused it I rubbed it on um, inhaled it everything I could do to get some kind of results and no matter what I did it was successful yeah that's awesome that is so very true I did make a blend for her and I mixed equal parts of um, balance which is doTERRA's grounding oil and copaiba which is it, we're still doing so much research and, and all this amazing benefits of copaiba. Um, so you use them topically and you use them aromatically. Um, you diffuse and then you also did the cup inhaler. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And I never go anywhere without my little <laughs> roll on. Do you feel that um, the support that you got, uh, what was what was the time frame? You know, people don't believe when I say that you get results within a short amount of minutes. What was your time frame in finding that initial support? Well, I was a skeptic. So I wanted to try it. And it was immediate, almost immediate when I had jittery feelings of anxiety, I use it. And I think within 10 minutes, mm -hmm. it calms me. So that's on a regular regiment right now. And no longer I'm a nervous wreck. Yeah, right. I, and I and people around you, like myself, have seen a tremendous yes. change in you. Do you find that your body will naturally gravitate to it when you need it? Do you are you finding because I see a balance in you? Are you finding that balance in copaiba is still your number one go to oil, or has it changed as you've evolved? I think it's changed as I evolve, but I still go to balance and copaiba as an anchor. Hmm. So I've taken your um, suggestion. I place the oils in front of me, and what I gravitate to is what I use. But my anchor, as I say, is balance and copaiba. Yeah, that's still my absolute favorite blend. Yeah. Um, I, too, use it um, mostly to go to bed because I, it mm -hmm. just quiets my brain. My brain's always mm -hmm. thinking, 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 and I can't get to a calm state. So I'll actually use balance and copaiba to get there. But I will listen to my body and going through this journey of essential oils, it's really a journey also in learning about yourself right? Because you become more in tune with your body and you become, you, you learn how or what it is that your body needs and how it's affecting you. And also what I do teach is, is 
essential oils, it's natural, it's organic, it comes from nature. So our bodies know exactly what to do with it. So when these oils reaches our skin or our limbic system or internally, our body says, oh, okay, I know what to do with this and it gets that support. And, you know, the transformation that watching you has been really exciting and really comforting, you know, and I feel so empowered and you, I can see that it's empowered yeah. you you know and it, it's almost like we can take on the world now whatever happens we've got an oil for that yes i i gain a lot more confidence i remember calling you a lot and now our calls are still a lot but there's distance between the calls right mm -hmm. as we've learned how to care for ourselves yes. yeah yes. okay the second question is what is your daily regimen and um, how do you use these products in your regimen? Okay, when I get up in the morning, that's the first thing I do. I take um, DDR, clove, copaiba, turmeric, cassia, and LLV. Which is the lifelong vitality. Morning and night. Oh, and okay. I, yeah, so I take it twice, morning and night. And um, I have a really exciting experience. Okay, I want to hear it. Cassia. I want to hear it. As I was a bottle line, I say was because it's was a bottle line diabetic, and the numbers were going up no matter what we did. And so I started using the cassia. And I used it with the doctor's knowledge, but they weren't too happy. But I went ahead. And when I went to do the reading, she says, wow, your reading has dropped. Did you increase your exercise? Did you change your diet? And I said, no, but I'm taking cassia, doTERRA, from doTERRA. And of course, they were like skeptic. So mm -hmm. she says, okay, we're going to cut your dose in half because the numbers had gone down. So I continued with that copaiba. I mean, um, um, with the cassia, I continued with the cassia, and I didn't tell her that I did not take that dose that she told me to continue, because I wanted to see for myself. Right. And so again, six months go by, and she said, oh my gosh, your numbers are so low, we have to take you off the pill. Mm. And I said, I'm already off the pill. <laughs> <laughs> That's really crazy. It was, it was so thrilling to show the doctor that it works because their focus are on pharmaceutical mm -hmm. only right. and they're unwilling to try. Yeah. So I wanted to prove a point. I tried it without her knowledge and then I revealed the outcome. The outcome, yeah. It, I feel really blessed that I did, I do have a doctor, my kids do have a doctor that is open to natural remedies. Mm -hmm. and, and if you can find that doctor, it's, yeah, it's really great. What was the time frame um, from when you were diagnosed using essential oils or doTERRA products and then having this outcome? I think I was a metformin for three years and struggling to keep it down because it would rise as each, each year go by. With, even with diet and exercise, I usually walk two miles a day. It wasn't working, actually. Um, then when I started using the cassia, just in one year, she saw my numbers starting to drop and said it was because of my diligence in um, diet and exercise, which really wasn't. Because nothing changed. Nothing changed. Yeah, I did right. the nothing changed for a reason. Right. You know? Um, and then she tested me six months later and she says, oh, we got to get you off of that metformin. Because <laughs> I was taking two metformins a, a day, five, 500 millimeters or 500 milligrams in the morning at night. And so she said, since it dropped, you take the night one with the morning. That's a thousand milligrams. And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. So I deducted that pill and it was still going down and I deducted the whole dosage. Right. So, so what was left was the Terra's essential oils. 
<laughs> she says, I have to take you off of it because your numbers are so low. You do not, not need the metformin. Yeah. And, you know, it is something that I always encourage, right, to work with your doctor like you did, yeah. you know, constantly, yeah. you know, we you know, we're, I'm not a doctor. I, I, I can't diagnose and I absolutely would never put anyone's health at risk, you know, so it is always encouraged like you did, you know, speak with your doctor, work with your doctor, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, be very open and, and take note, you know, of, of time frame because then you can see your progress. And um, another thing with essential oils that I, what I, that I noticed is you may not always get the same result as someone else. Mm -hmm. So, you know, someone has a protocol that they used and that's great because it gives you a starting point of where to work with and the oils that work with them. But in this experience, in this journey, it's because our bodies are so different and so complex is understanding that things take time, especially when it's something serious, like borderline diabetes, it, it takes time. And you need to work with your body, you need to find the products, you know, these essential oils that work with your body, what your what your body is mm -hmm. lacking or needing. And, and so it's really important to have patience and consistency. And I like I like this testimony, because that's exactly what what you did, you know, and, and just in, in all the right ways and to and to hear now that these are two major support issues that you were able to yeah. find success in and it, it's and um i was amazed that she says i need to take you off of metformin yeah so it was evidence it was a silence evidence and i was cheering in my mind like i'm gonna put the wine when i go home yeah. 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 You know, it's so crazy because essential oils have become such yes. a major part of, of our lives now. And as a believer of traditional medicine, um, I, mm -hmm. I just don't believe it's the only option and it doesn't necessarily have to be the first option. And that's what I love about your testimonials is because you're so willing to try them. And your patience and your consistency always helps me to learn from you and help other people to learn from you. So, yeah, that's that's a really moving yeah. testimony. And, uh, another advice is, like you say, be consistent. Don't try it for two, even four, five, six days. Give it at least two weeks because it acts differently on different people. Right. But it acted right away with me. So... And, and, and I also think a major one is uh, this, the lifelong vitality. You know, you've got your omegas, you've got your nutrition, you've got your cellular health, and, and these are your, your, the foundation that you build upon. You know, if your foundation is cracked, it's a bit hard to, you know, to find support in something if, you're, if you've got a cracked foundation, you know. Yeah. So starting so off strong. Never, it's never too late. Yeah. Never too late. Absolutely. And, and I, I love that doTERRA backs it up, you know, 100%. So you try it for 30 days. If, if you don't like it, you know, 100%, you know, mm -hmm. refund. And uh, when I first thought about the lifelong vitality and I thought about the benefits, I was like, okay, well, you know, what do I have to lose? And when I tried it, the, change in my body was slow but progressive and I didn't realize it until I stopped and when I stopped taking it then I felt this rush of like drained energy dry skin you know I mean did you notice have you noticed changes with that very much I've noticed very much yeah so I'm climbing the same ladder you are yeah, we're both we're, we're fighting age, right? We want to look like this, yeah. <laughs> lift everything up, and feel rejuvenated. Great com complexion, yeah. healthy, yeah. Yeah. you know, hydrated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for yeah. sure. Okay, so the next question is, what is your favorite oil today? Today, I like um, purify. Purify. Is that purify. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right now that volcano in uh, the big island is active and so we get a lot of that vog here and as you can tell with my voice I can I'm starting to 
get irritated, you know, with the VOG. And so I use Purifar a lot. And when I go to bed, because I like to sleep with the windows open and I, of course, you're going to feel the effects. So I purify the room first, shut the doors and everything, clean up everything before I go to bed because I have left the windows open all day, you know, to get the tropical breeze, but it brings in the VOG. How and you, I, I'm huh? sorry, how do you use it? Of course, I put it in a diffuser. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like diffusing it. And when I open the door, I feel like I have gone to the top of the mountain with a waterfall. You can actually, <laughs> you can actually smell purity. Yeah. You know, you can, you, it's a different clean, clean smell that you can't put your finger on. Yeah, this is um, doTERRA's cleansing um, oil. So it, it does, it purifies the air. Yeah, you're right. Um, I love to diffuse it in the bathroom. It just takes that yeah. smell away. <laughs> yeah. it, yes. And lavender is another to go to. How do, how do you use lavender? Um, topically. Mm. And I put it in a diffuser. When I'm feeling stressed, like when I go down to the um, koi pond and I see the green frog there and I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm really <laughs> You so need to fun. calm yourself, <laughs> take some lavender. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> especially when you fall in the pond. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> yes, but um, lavender actually, covers a multitude of sins yeah yes lavender is the oil of all things calming right so calming yes. the skin calming the mind emotions you know um yes in fact i've got a great story i've got a great testimony for that so hector my husband was he had a, a little uh, like a paper cut and so he asked do i have anything for that of course i've got an oil for that so i put some lavender on it Mm -hmm. and uh he began cooking and he was making guacamole that night so he was using lime and oh. he came to me and he said you know that cut where you put lavender is not burning with the lime but all the other areas which I had no idea I had a crack in my skin was burning and when we looked at it there was this like really nice coat just over his his um his paper cut and i thought that was so amazing you know yeah. how how quickly you know it was able to protect that area so mm -hmm. you know all things calming all things healing yeah, yeah. it's terrific mm -hmm. okay and another fun question can you imagine your life now without essential oils knowing what you know now <laughs> nope they cannot to, I would not want to go back to where I was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah. And and you know the great thing about essential oil is that it can help support these major issues that we're going through. Um, but it also can be fun because you can cook yeah. with it. You know, you can make shakes with it. You can, mm -hmm. you know, deodorize your house with it, you know. And get it naturally without the side effects that's the greatest thing right it, it, there's no side effects I mean you really can can do no wrong and another thing I love is like for example the lavender you've got one these they it comes in like a 15 mil bottle right so it's about 250 drops 250 uses but it's not meant for just one way of using it so yes. you know unlike other kinds of um methods you know or we're talking about ph pharmaceuticals where it's meant for one one medication is meant to help with one specific um support yeah. but essential oils one bottle can help with a multitude of things so and it, and yes and it's gentle yes yes it's gentle because our body knows what to do with it yeah this is emotions and essential oils and i love this and since you're your first oil that you mentioned is your favorite right now just we're going to just have a little bit of fun is let me see if it's in here let's see and and oh purify okay 
um, Purify is Purification. So this book actually helps to address negative emotions and it helps to promote positive. Mm -hmm. okay, so, so what it helps to address negative emotions is trapped, negative, toxic, hate, rage, controlling. And the positive properties it helps to encourage is cleansing, purifying, releasing. So it's, you know, you, I know you use it because of the VOG, but this is when you use an oil aromatically and it reaches your limbic system, it actually affects your emotions. So these are the emotional benefits that you're getting, you know, as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, so now, now I know when I get up in the morning and I walk to the kitchen, no wonder I say, here I go again. Instead <laughs> of, oh no, another day. Right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. So let's leave that, uh, leave yeah. it there, you know, and, and we're looking forward to another bright rainbow day, you know, with essential oils. Um, you know, what we forgot to do, I always like to start off with these so we didn't get a okay. chance to start but let's end in it high so uh folks if you've got your favorite essential oil i love this blend together peppermint and wild orange it doesn't have to be this one grab your favorite oil and we're just gonna put one drop in our hands rub together and let's take three long deep breaths For me, I hold all my tension in my neck and my shoulders. So I'm going to put any remaining there. If you're using a citrus like my wild orange, and you're going to be in the sun. Don't forget, yeah. you know, rub it somewhere where it's not going to have direct sunlight because you can cause, you know, a sensitive sensitivity with sunlight. But that's that's our vala al talk. Vala al in Hawaiian means talk. So that's our vala al talk here with oils with me without B. <laughs> Thank you so much, so so much, Mom, for for joining me in this interview, and I'm so internally grateful that you're welcome. It was enjoyable. <laughs> All right, Mom, have a great day. You too. Love you. Love you. Bye.